Hello everyone, uh, this is Jeremy Wright, Mach 30 board member. This video is meant to be part of a Mach 30 reports hangout. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link in the description below and also a link to Mach 30's YouTube channel. And if you don't uh, know what Mach 30 is, I'll also put a link to Mach30.org. Uh, if you're interested in space at all, I suggest you go over and uh, check that website out. Um, what I've been working on the most lately is something called CAD Query, and uh, CAD Query is a uh, CAD library, um, uh, and it's um, we call it uh, Code CAD. Uh, it's also known as Programmatic CAD. It's kind of like OpenS CAD. Uh, if any of you watching this have ever used that, uh, what it allows you to do is write uh, scripts or programs in Python, uh, and then generate 3D models. Um, and this is um, very much different than the typical point-and-click uh, GUI CAD interfaces that most people are, are used to using. Um, we feel that it, uh, this uh, could open up a whole new level of parametric modeling uh, for Mach 30. And what I mean by that is that, um, for instance, you might have an antenna assembly uh, for like a ground station or something like that and you can link everything together and uh, tie everything to the fundamental math uh, behind the uh, antenna to where uh, you can just change the frequency and the antenna will automatically scale and adjust itself accordingly uh, so that it'll work properly for that frequency. Um, and we also feel that it opens up some uh, interesting avenues for analysis. It's kind of, um, uh, the, there's a lot of discussion going on about that right now and um, about where that's going to head and what that could mean. Uh, but what I, when I'm talking about analysis, I mean like uh, um, analyzing the flow through a rocket nozzle. So you would generate a model and you would simulate the flow through it and you would uh, analyze, you know, hot spots and things like that in the nozzle. So um, my involvement in uh, CAD Query started at version 0 0.1.5, and I've actually only been involved for probably a couple months now. Um, we released version 0 0.1.7 a couple weeks ago, I think, and it uh, included a revolve operation, uh, which was uh, very needed, and uh, um, I feel was a very good addition that we got into that version. Uh, we're headed towards version 0 0.1.8, which will hopefully include uh, advanced um, extrude and sweep operations, which uh, is another thing that uh, we feel is kind of needed. Um, CAD Query now uh, has a GUI of sorts. Um, it's not ready for public conception yet, but it's getting fairly close. Hopefully within the next week or two, um, I'll have something out. Um, and uh, uh, people are more than welcome to try it. Um, if you're interested, um, you know, uh, get a message to me in the, the comments below or something, and I can get you, uh, get you a copy to experiment with. Um, it's not for the faint of heart, though, at this point. You, know, you have to copy it over and... Uh, do a couple things to get it running, but um, it is implemented as a FreeCAD module, um, so it runs inside of uh, FreeCAD, um, and it provides a uh, FreeCAD workbench. Um, if any of you have ever used FreeCAD before, it has this idea of workbenches where you, you've got a menu and you pull down and choose what workbench you want. It shows you the tools that are only related to um, to that task, whatever you're doing, whether it's building uh, just general 3D models or shipbuilding or analysis or uh, animation or robotics, things like that. Um, and uh, the goal would be to eventually get this merged into FreeCAD proper um, so that uh, when anybody downloads FreeCAD, they automatically have the CAD Query workbench right there uh, so that they can just open that workbench up and they're ready to go uh, with uh, starting to experiment with CAD query. Um, so the, um, the workbench is designed so that you have, it, it's kind of like the OpenX CAD GUI interface where you have a uh, code pane on the left and um, you type your code in that and then you hit F2 for execute which is the key that's currently mapped uh, to execute the script and then your 3D model shows up in the right pane um, and um, 
it also has a Python, Python console at the bottom, which is just um, FreeCAD's standard Python console. Um, so if you have any questions about any of this, um, please feel free to contact me through the or comments uh, on this video, through Google+, Twitter. Um, contact me directly through Mach 30. Uh, we're, we're pretty excited about the possibilities with this and be real interested in talking uh, to you about it. So thanks and talk to you later.